Teacher efficacy is the teacher's belief that he or she has the ability to help children learn. And lo and behold, if a teacher has high efficacy, it has an impact on student achievement. So teacher efficacy is directly connected to student learning and student achievement. It's a better predictor of student achievement than socioeconomic status. So when the teacher believes, hey, I can help a kid learn, that translates to persisting in the classroom with students, working more closely with students with learning disabilities, trying risky strategies in the classroom and having success with those, and not being afraid to engage in rich problems, taking up wrong answers and spending some time on those and letting students kind of muddle for a little bit, letting the learning take place rather than doing a lot of telling. So all of those things start to come into play, that the, when the teacher has high efficacy, they're using more effective strategies in math in the classroom. That then has an impact on students and student efficacy. So if the teacher believes that the student can learn and that they have the ability to help student learn, then that helps the student think that they can learn and it builds student efficacy. There's a really lovely parallel to teacher efficacy which is student efficacy and student efficacy is the student's belief that he or she has the ability to learn and this is a really key part of learning in mathematics because students with high efficacy will persist longer with difficult problems and it is correlated to student achievement as well. One of the key things to remember about efficacy is trying to build mastery experiences for students. So a mastery experience is where the student tries something that's a little bit more challenging than they might expect within their zone of proximal development, but pretty challenging, and they have success. Then they say, ah, oh, that was amazing. I really know what I'm doing. I really understand that. I feel so good. I can learn. I can learn mathematics. And when the student has that mastery experience, it affects the teacher because the teacher sees that happen and says, aha, that student just had a mastery experience. Now I know I'm a good teacher and I can help that student learn. So the teacher, in turn, has a mastery experience. We put those two things together, you can have some really high quality learning going on. And the opportunities for teachers to engage in professional learning and build very carefully these opportunities for mastery experiences all connect in together to make that sort of cycle happen.